Hey everyone, I'm Purge, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to play Lorenzo Il Magnifico again. Now, the first time I played this game, on video at least, I went with the easy AI, and I won by, I think, 36 points. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to play with two medium AIs, and probably... Um, actually not probably about it, we are going to play with the Leaders expansion. So, right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the Leaders expansion, we're going to turn that on, I'll get to what that is in-game. And we're going to... Can we change colour? Okay, we'll go with grey. So, we're going to do two medium AI this time. We're, again, we're not going to change the basic income. We're just going to leave the basic income as is. But we are going to play with leader expansion and we're going to we're going to play with two medium AI again because I won pretty handily against the easy AI last time. So we'll see what happens. Right. Now playing with two opponents, playing a three player game, opens up a couple more spaces to send your family members to. So we'll get into that in a second as well. So we'll see. Okay, so this is the leaders. We got uh, six of them, you choose four of them. So this leader is requirement. 15 servants affect once per round, gain one council privilege. That's good. Um, this one. Requirements four buildings. And two characters, once per round, gain three servants and one victory point. That's pretty good too. Requirements 18 gold, once per round, gain one faith. Really good, because as we kind of know in this game, faith is really quite important, depending on what penalties we get. We'll see those in a second. Requirements. Two ventures, four territories. Once per round, gain four victory points. Really nice. Four military points. Once per round, gain one wood, a stone, and a gold. That's good. And requirements, 20 victory points, three territories, and a befriended leader. Huh. Effect, whenever you gain victory points from a source, you gain one additional victory point. So, when it says the requirements is, you know, 18 gold, uh, two ventures, four territories, it basically means you don't, you don't give those up. You just have to have those resources and then you get the leader. So, for instance, if I was to have 15 servants, I would be able to um, befriend this leader. I wouldn't actually lose those 15 servants. I just have to have them. So, we're going to keep it a little bit simple. So, we're going to go with probably... We'll go 15 servants. I don't know if I want to play territories this game. Because I played Territory's last game, so we'll leave that one out. We'll go with 18 gold. We'll go for building two characters. And we'll do the 12 mili military. There you go. Those are the four leaders we're going to get. Hmm. Okay. Now, I made a little mistake there. Because uh, it must be a four-player game. Okay, so you see these two entrances right here? Um, I thought it was a three-player game. You've actually got access to them, but apparently it's a four-player game. Um, you get access to another two spaces here to gain resources. I'm pretty sure one of them is military. I do apologize for that. We will be playing this game again on video, so I'll do a four-player game next time. And these will open up. So, anyway... Let's see here. Um, what do I want to do? I want to concentrate on something other than territories this time, because again, it'd be nice to show, it, uh, show a different tactic while playing the game. So let's quickly see what the church is. Uh, increase the effort of all your harvests by three. That's quite bad if I was going for territories. You can't send your family members to the market anymore. That's really bad. We don't really want that because the market is actually quite important. 
At the end of the game, before the final scoring, you lose by minus one victory point for every five victory points you have. We don't want that either, so... Um, we can maybe ignore this this game, because if we're not going to go with territories, then the harvest actions aren't great anyway. Because without territories, all the harvest actions are going to give you is a wood, a servant, and a stone. That's it. So maybe... We just let that ride and then do this one instead. Anyway, we'll see. Right, so maybe the one face would be nice to get the gold. So maybe go with buildings. Maybe go with buildings and characters. We'll see. So let's have a look. Um, Stonemason, whenever you take a building from towers, decrease the value of the tower slots by two. You also get a discount of one wood or stone on its cost. That would be really nice. And I think we're actually going to do that. Because if I'm going for this leader, it makes sense to get the character that allows me... Yeah, um, bonuses on getting buildings. So yeah, this is almost a no-brainer. So we're going to go with Stonemason. Right. Okay. I'm going to let the eye take the turn. Like so. Okay. So. Huh, interesting. They didn't take a building. Right. So. Let's have a look here. So I could get. The. I could get the. Um, chapel. For one wood. And it would allow. I get, I get a faith. Right away. And it would allow me to turn. Whenever you satisfy. The activation value of this card. During a production. Um, exchange. One gold. For one faith, and because I've got the stone mason, you are followed by the stone mason. As a consequence, the entrance value of this uh, of this tower is decreased by two. So it's basically like a zero, a zero die. You need for that. Do I go for? Don't want anything to do with territories, really. What would this be? Um, this is the theater. Whenever you satisfy the activation value of this card during a production um, action, gain one victory point for each one character you possess. That could be quite interesting. A five. I could do it. But then again, I don't have the gold. Maybe I'll do that because I get two military as well. and six victory points. Um, just to um, let you know, I, this is something I didn't mention in the last game. But um, victory points on their own are victory points... Just like that, are victory points you get immediately. Victory points that are actually on a chest are victory points you get at the end of the game. So there you go. See, if I don't get it now... Maybe... I need two characters... And four buildings. And maybe I grab... This building... With my zero die. It cost me one wood. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we just do that. Okay. Right. Oh, they both went for characters. Okay. Now. Oh, they've taken the gold. I really wouldn't mind having this, but I'm one gold short. Okay. Maybe I take a council favor for two gold. Like, still, I, okay, still use it, right? Because I put my, I put my gray die there. We're gonna go with two gold, the council favor. I'm gonna get, we're gonna get three gold together, actually. You get one gold for going there. Okay. Now, we're going to try and get the theatre building.
Oh, I completely forgot. Of course, because I already took something. It adds three gold to the cost, so it's not two gold I've got to pay. It's actually five gold. Well, okay, that's unfortunate, but I do think it's still worth... Maybe going for another building? Uh, the residence? I get one victory point. One of you satisfied the activation of this card. Production. Exchange one gold for one council privilege. Now, just like um, getting territories increases, enhances the production action. Getting buildings enhances the... Um, sorry. Just like territories enhance the harvest action, buildings enhance... The production action so i get basic income it's like two gold one military but because i've got um this building right here the chapel i can also get i can also exchange a gold for a faith which actually could be really useful right what do i want to do i could Exchange one gold for a council favor. I mean, kind of, I'm kind of using up like a lot of gold. Maybe we do this. Maybe we get the residence, and we go another building. Now, as you can see here, buildings don't have a military requirement, but you also don't get um, victory points. For buildings which is unfortunate i would really really like to get this building but there's no way for me to do it so we're gonna take we're gonna take the residence this council favor is good anyway um sorry council privileges are good anyway All right he's taking the territory um okay so it's a night phase so, if I wanted to not have this penalty, I would actually get three faith now. However, I don't really care about the harvest action this game, so I'm probably not going to bother. Um, I'm probably not going to bother trying to get the three faith to do this. I will, I will though, try and get the four to not let this happen, because the market is pretty important. The market, by the way these two spots five gold and five servants now let's see here i i think the thing to do would be to grab the gold before anybody else does yes yeah okay we're gonna use the one die to grab the five gold I don't care about the territories, but I kind of do care about the... Mm. Okay, okay. Alright. So... We got one stone. Wow. Right. Right. It's either three stone or two wooden stone. This is actually the mint. Whenever you satisfy the activation value of this of this card during production, gain one gold for each building you possess. That's really, really good and kind of synergistic with the gold exchanges I've already got. That would be really, really good. Um, but I can't afford it. Ugh. Shall I go with the production action? Or should I go with the actual character? Um, Dane, whenever you take a character from a tower, decrease the value of the tower slots by two. You can also get a discount of one gold on it. That would be really nice. That would be really nice. But that would be... Oh, okay. See, I'm leaning towards this building. If I can grab it. Because that would be really, really good. Or, 
exchange wood for gold. But I think this would be better. Every time I do it, I actually get gold. The buildings. How about... Not that. How about... Okay. I get this council privilege. I get the wood and the stone and hoop. Nobody takes it. Actually, I can still take it. If somebody even put took a building and put a three an extra three gold cost on it, I can still take it if as long as nobody takes them in. Right, we'll see. We'll see. Oh. Right. Okay, it's, it's kind of expensive. I don't want to use a six die on it. I kind of want to do this. Um, it cost me two stone of wood and three gold. Yeah, take the mint. God do it. Like so. Okay, so for my last die, now again, I don't really care about the excommunication effect here. So I don't really care about getting three faith at the moment, but I might as well take the harvest action with my six. So I'm going to exchange a gold for a council favor. I'm going to exchange a gold for a faith also. So, I get five gold, a military, a faith, and a council privilege. I'm probably going to call council privilege council favour um, interchangeably, so uh, just so you're aware. <laughs> so, we're, we're going to do that. It's a six die anyways, I'm not, using any, I'm not even using any servants. Five gold, a military, a faith, and a council privilege. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, and what do I want to pick? I think, because I've got no stone in any one wood, I think I'm going to have to pick the stone in the wood. Right. We're going to go with that. Um. No, you don't have the crowd faith yet, so I'm... So now, instead of like at least a one... Yeah, I've been excommunicated for this era. The two AI have not. Hmm. Right. Let me think about this. So I'm still trying to get, to be honest, I'm still trying to get this um, leader. Um, obviously, it's always better to try and get leaders as soon as possible because you uh, you only get the effect of the leader once per round so obviously the more rounds you've got to for the game the more like the more leaders will help you so once per round gain three servants and a victory point that's really good and could i get 18 gold on i could take five gold there that'd be great look at that it's five gold and a faith okay let's think about this Patron. Hmm. You take a character from towers as though you were using a family a, a family member of six. You still get you still can use servants to increase the value. You also get a discount of two gold on its cost. Okay, let me think. Would another character be better? Would this character be better? I can do it. You can take buildings from the towers as though you were using a family member of six. You can still use servants to ingrate. You also get a discount of one wood and one stone on its cost. I gotta be honest, that's really nice. And we're gonna use one servant for this because I kind of want to keep the six die. That's really nice. 
we're gonna go with the architect. Yeah. Right. Oh, I can I can choose a building right now. Wow. Okay. This is six points, the Sculptor's Guild. Exchange a stone for three points, or exchange three stone for seven. Um, this is a Stonemason's Guild. Exchange a Servant, Wood and Stone for six points, and you get four points right now. Or two wood, which I can actually do. Um, this is Treasury. Exchange your gold for three points, or exchange two gold for five points. I think that might be the one, because I'm getting gold anyway. I get a discount. And I get a discount. Right. So it's literally just going to cost me one wood. Lovely. We're good with that. Lovely, lovely. Ah, okay. So this little thing right here, that means I have now befriended this leader. So I've got four buildings and I've got two characters. That means I, I actually have this leader now. Um, so I can befriend the leader or I can discard it. But why would you discard it? I'm going to befriend the leader. And get three servants and a... And a victory point. Now I can do this once per round. So if I can click here quite fast. Click there. You get um, his letter. Befriend leader. Three servants. One victory point. Pretty very good. And I just, I, I just befriended him. And now I get the resources. Like so. Anyway. That's a free action, by the way, befriending leaders and getting their resources. It doesn't actually uh, take up an action or anything like that. Take up a die. So. Uh, let's see. Let's see now. I really want to use... Wait. It's already been used. Oh, no it hasn't. Hmm. All right, get off that. What do I want to do next? Now, I really need to get four faith. I might just grab the gold from the market. I need two more faith, though. I need two more faith. I'm going to grab the gold from the market. Yeah. We're going to do that. Yep. Grab the gold from the market. They do give you one faith. That would be really useful, but... Having to hold on to 18 gold. Hmm. I don't really want any of these, because it all... It all goes to exchange of resources for points, which is nice, but... I kind of got a good synergy here with gold. So... Right. I don't want... I, I have to be honest. I do three, take three servants. It would cost me eight gold. I don't really want to use eight gold. Okay, we'll think about it in a second. What we're going to do, we're going to use a six... We're going to get a cancel favor. We're going to get another faith. And we're probably going to exchange two gold for um, five victory points. So, all in all, I am getting two gold, a military, a faith, five victory points, and a council privilege, which is nice. So, we're going to do that. And pick a privilege. I think 
it would be worthwhile to probably have the stone and the wood again to me because I can get a faith next round, hopefully. Um, but I'm really not producing any stone or wood because I'm not doing the harvest action ready. So the only source of it I've got is from probably from council privileges. So we're going to go with that. Stone wood. Okay, we're going to end the turn. Right here. Okay. So I've got my zero die now. Yeah, I could pick another council privilege. Oh, I should I should also mention um you can you can go here, anybody can go here, everybody can go to Council Palace, and this dictates turn order right here, depending on when you go into it. Uh turn order for the next round, I should say. Now I don't have to get a faith. I wouldn't even mind trying to go for 18 gold to get one faith per round. Maybe. But we're on the second era now, so... Or 15 servants, that would be really nice. But, no. Do I want to get... I'll get another wooden stone, because for next round, I do want to get um, more buildings. Maybe two more. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pick a territory. I'm going to pick a venture. Now. Okay. Now. This wood. Like, this wood. This wood be excellent uh this is the uh, scholar because i all i'm really doing is production action and this increases the value of all your productions by three that is really nice really nice this would be really nice too i'd get three council privileges Oh, but that is so... That's a lot of synergy. That's good synergy. I have to be honest. That's really nice. That's really good. That's good too. I have to say. Marketplace. Exchange three gold. For two wood and two stone. Or server three military. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one, but I got. Oh yeah, because it's a new round. I should do this first. Because it's a new round, I get my leader benefit again, so I get another three servants and a point, which is very nice. Six. We'll have eleven. Get three more servants. I could possibly get this leader if I go all in with servants. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Now, I definitely want to get probably the scholar and another building. That would be really nice. Two points and a military. That would be good. Um, right. Oh, uh, what would be more important? Two points in the military? <laughs> oh, three. I don't want to use... This. Do I go... Two gold, two stone, or and a wood, or two gold, one stone, and two wood. Well, I'll probably go two stone because I got more stone than wood. And this will give me, every time I do it, this will give me 
um, a military and two victory points. Wow, that's nice too. Right, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with that. Okay, and hope newbie takes a scholar. I kind of want the scholar. Okay. Right, the scholar is kind of a new brainer. I really don't. I wanted to keep. No, it's not going to happen, is it? Because. I've got to use two servants for this because I want to keep the five die because if I can, I want. Well, then again, I won't have to do that really, will I? I get plus three. So all I need is a three die. Three. I don't want to have to use anything at all. Okay, we're going to go with Scholar. Like so. And so now, because each time you get characters, you actually get points at the end of the game. At the moment, I'm getting six points at the end of the game. Okay. Oh. Um. Right. I definitely, definitely want to do the action. I don't, have to, I don't have to use a servant training thing because um, I've got a plus. I've got a plus three on the die for the production action. So I'm going to exchange. Oh no! I have to, I have to pick. Damn, that's not very good management. Because now I have to pick. Do I want a council privilege or a faith? Because I'm going to get seven gold. Okay, I've only got one gold to spare. Hmm. No, actually. We're going to exchange for three points. So. Because I'm not worried about the um, church. Because I can use uh, the council palace to get the faith. So. I'm getting 7 gold, 3 military, and 5 victory points because I've chosen to exchange the gold for 3 victory points here, and I'm getting the 2 victory points here. So I think it's the best way. Now, to be honest, if I had have actually um, looked properly, I should have had more gold to spare um, before I did this action so I could get more benefit out of it, but um, it's okay. It's okay. We're good. Right. Enter. Right, now I need the faith because I cause I don't want to be stopped from going into the marketplace. It's important. So we're gonna use a servant and my zero die to get oh no, not two gold. The faith. We're gonna do that. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay, we're going to do that. Yes, we're going to support the Vatican. Because I don't want to be barred from the market. Like so. Okay. Oh, he took the gold immediately. Okay, so I'm going to do my leader action. Which is three servants and a point. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more leaders to show that off. I mean, five military. Can I pull off five military? Um, no, because this would cost me six down because I haven't really gone into ventures. I'm concentrating on buildings and characters. Hmm. 
gain two victory points for each character you possess. Now, I wonder if it includes itself. If it doesn't, it'd be six points. If it does, it'd be eight points. That's pretty good. And it go from six to eight point, uh, to ten points anyway, because I'd have another character. But it would cost me seven gold. Do I want? Hmm. I need a five. I need five faith in this round because I know the game before the final scoring you lose uh, minus one victory points for every five victory points you have. I don't want that to happen. I kind of need the faith. Right. And that's a re I've just noticed a two, a one, and a one. That's a horrible roll. Maybe go with the. Okay. While I've got gold, and I'm going to use a two, it's actually two, three, it's actually a five. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use one servant to the last one. So I'm going to use a gold for counter privilege. I'm going to use a gold for a faith. And I'm going to use two gold to score five points. So in the end, from this one production action, I'm going to get seven gold, three military, a faith, seven victory points, and a council privilege. We're going to do that. Let's do it. Okay. And I choose one privilege, and I think it's going to have to be... I think it's going to have to be the faith. Yeah. Got to be the faith. Okay. Now, because I'm playing a three-player game... Yeah, it got to be... The Grey Day. Yeah. Um, I should have probably mentioned this as well, actually, because in a two-player game, um, only one person can go to these locations. In, um, in a three-player game, uh, two people can. Two people can. And um, also, um, in a four-player game, uh, more people can go to these locations, and in these locations, as I said before, these locations open up. But again, we'll play a four-player game next time, so you can see those locations. Next time I play, it'll be a four-player game. Um, so let's see. What do I want? I probably want... Now, see, I get two military, I get... I can befriend this leader, I get seven more gold, I can befriend, I can befriend this leader. This leader would be more important. Because, um, because I want the faith. Am I going to be able to get the f like enough faith this turn? Um, gives me two coins of color. I could I get. I just straight up get one victory point and I get three faith and seven points. Um oh no. I can't afford it. It's way more wood than I can form with what we doing. I be I just focused on that one then. Um Exchange of Gold. Hmm. It's either going to be three gold, a stone, two wood, or three gold, zero stone, and three wood. Well, I can't do that one, obviously. So it's got to be that one. So this would be my last, my last building in my slot, uh, in the slot. This is um, Alice, and I again exchange a gold for this time a servant and four points. Now, again, it doesn't really do anything 
more faith. I would like this one, in fact, for the council favor, but I can't afford it either way. We have four stone, one servant. I couldn't even afford it if I went there. Um, right. Wow. Oh dear. Okay, that's uh, built up a little bit, isn't it? So, that was eight to get this benefit, and this was a full nine to get this benefit. But, um,. Okay, so I have to use all my servants because I can't use the same color dye. I've already used this one. I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to get a council privilege. I'm going to get a faith. And I'm going to exchange four or five points. So again, I'm getting seven gold, a military, a faith, a five, uh, sorry, five victory points and a council privilege, which is really, really nice. We will do that. And I chew, I got 14 gold, I'll have 16 gold. I'm gonna go with the faith again. Or, hmm. Or if I get two minutes, I can friend this one, I get a wood, a stone, and a gold. Free. Hmm. No, we're gonna go with the, we're gonna go with the faith. I think, yeah, that went down to worry about it. Now, <laughs> that'd be that'd be great. Yeah, I've already said it, like family members there. So, do I just leave this because I've got four, or I need is five to not get? this a negative effect right here of losing one victory point for every five so i think be prudent now i've got like three characters get the paramour for seven gold wait a minute nope i'm not doing that because i can't because i don't have the servants right we're gonna go and get two servants and hopefully get the paramour. Okay. In territory. This is funny because all I need is like. But then again, it doesn't matter because I'm going to get the faith next round. This is either a. Yeah, gain two victory points for each character you possess. It's either going to be a six point play right now or an eight point play if it includes itself. So, we'll see. I use my two servants to get the paramour. Like so. Very jubbly. Okay, this is the last round of the game. This is night time on era three. I'm going to get my leader privilege. Three leader benefit um three servants and a victory point now i need one more military to get wow i need one more military to get this leader um one stone one gold and one faith um i think i'm going to grab this gold because gold really benefits me i'm gonna grab the gold in the market 
Oh yes, we're gonna do that. Hmm. Now, this would be great for me, getting two victory points for each building you possess. That would be like 10 victory points. That would be excellent. And it's going to cost me 9 gold, but it's like literally 10 victory points. That would be really, really nice. Right there. I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's going to cost a lot. But I think it's a no-brainer. We're going to do it. Oh, yes. In turn. Yeah, 10 victory points. I should see what my previous turn was there. Just so I can see how many... Victory points I got? Yeah, it included itself. The Paramore included itself, so I got 8 points. That's really good. So. Okay. We're going to... Let's see. What's this? Character. Gain 1 victory point for each 2 military points you have. That would actually be like five points if I could afford it, but I can't. Now, I was going to, now because somebody's already used it, it increases the values of all these, but, so technically my day is actually an eight, so I get this anyway. Now I could just go for the faith. In fact, I exchange my one gold for a faith as the last faith I need not to get this penalty. Um, so I'm getting seven gold in military and a faith. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yep. There we go. Another venture for the green, grey player. So this is our last turn. Um, yeah, they yeah, don't like the family member's not powerful enough. Yeah, I know. Okay, so oh, actually, it's funny, I completely missed this. I did, I was able to get the 12 military and prevent another leader, so I'm a friend leader, and it gives me a stone, a wood, and a gold. So I'm gonna accept that. Now, what would this would benefit me the most? Oh yeah, but I can't. It's not strong enough because I've literally got no servants and I've got my zero die, so I'm not going to get anything like that. So all I'm going to do. So really, I can't. Let's see. Hmm. And you need at least a one. So that's interesting. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't work there. They pay for the assets. Four stone. Right, we're going to go for a last building because it gives me like another faith and it gives me five, like straight up five points. And this is my last building. Go for the church. I'm going to do that as my last action. Yes, I will support so I don't actually get the penalty. Yep. That was my last action. Okay. Let's have a look. Territories I didn't basically wasn't competing in at all, so I got nothing. I got 15 points for characters. 
Jacosimo got 23 points for ventures. I've got the 5 points because I had the most military. I and I've got 12 points for resources and the winner is it is me with 100 points. Interesting enough, it that's more points than I got when I was playing the Easy Eye the last game. So, there you go folks. I won again against two medium AI and I have to say that was again like a good game. I, I do really like uh, Lorenzo Il Magnifico. It's really good. And I won again. Next time I actually do play this game, I will play a four player game so you can see a couple of other slots that open up. But yeah, there we go. I won the game again. Very good. There you go, folks. I hope you liked that. And if you did, please comment, subscribe, like it, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.